Welcome back to develop number 19 of Boom and let's get started. So if you remember in the last video we uh, made a box and called him the Pinky Demon but in this video we are going to actually create a nice model for him with maybe bones and stuff maybe not. So yeah that's going to be interesting so let's get started. So like all stories this one starts with a cube. Now the concept is really simple, our robot is not going to have any arms or legs or anything of that sort because that's kind of old fashioned, we are modern here, we are, uh, we, our robots fly, they don't you know walk like the old people do, uh, they fly using modern technology, right? Uh, and this is totally not because I do not want to animate it skeletally, it's totally a design choice, right? So yeah, we are going to make that. Anyways, this is my first failed attempt. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty bad, but uh, I think it's something that we could build off. Anyways, after a little bit of improvement and applying some cool uh, effects, I guess, uh, you know, uh, we have got this nice looking smooth shape here now because of, uh, uh, you know, the subdivision surface modifier, which is totally cool. Uh, this is what our uh, robot looks like now, and I think it's going pretty well. Uh, it's, it's actually not that bad. Alright, so after applying materials, this is what it looks like and I think it's pretty nice. So, I, it could do with a little bit less roughness, uh, I think. Yeah, that kind of looks like, you know, kind of looks like, uh, I guess, I don't know, uh, it, it looks nice. And uh, yeah, we have got this kind of uh, thing here where we are actually going to attack our weapon because currently this robot has got no way to attack the enemy. Alright, so now we have added the weapon and this is what it looks like. It is a knife. I know that that looks extremely photorealistic to be honest. Uh, let me just zoom in a bit on it. Yeah, you can see that that's extremely photorealistic, that handle there. But uh, but we have got a nice looking uh, knife now and what this does is uh, actually if I if I just show you what this uh, the animation looks like you can see that uh, this basically extends out and hits the player so the idea is that the enemy when it gets close to the player will do this and yeah that will damage the player and it looks a lot cool now you might be wondering how i actually implemented that uh, animation and it is just really simple we use the blender's uh, object key system so the idea is that we have got a base key which represents the you know the the default state of the object and then we have got uh, some sub keys which uh, have basically uh, have got vertices but moved or scaled in a different way and uh, then uh, if we can change a value to smoothly translate uh, smoothly transition between them so that's pretty cool anyways this is the final result that i had all right so i got him implemented in the game and he was pretty nice i thought i haven't added the animations or anything else yet and uh, you can see that he is uh, chasing us pretty much fine i didn't do damage for some reason seems uh all right so yeah he is chasing us and he seems uh, nice and yeah that that's awesome yeah, and he's chasing us and we can escape from him and, oh, uh, still no gravity. Uh, the problem is, though, that uh, currently no animations are implemented. There are a couple of bugs and uh, I actually spent most of this week uh, fixing bugs and doing a little bit of refactory. So that's the reason that we currently haven't got too much of content right now and this is pretty much it for this video. Uh, because I I really spent a lot of time refactoring the code because the enemy code was a big mess and and I also changed it uh, so that it's a bit more optimized and also fixed a couple of bugs with regard to the zombie man and the imp. So the pinky still has a lot of bugs so you can see that sometimes he doesn't attack. Uh, you can see that I'm not getting damage even though he is going to the missile state right now. Uh, but uh, it's because uh, you know he's uh, not. Uh, you know making the ray cast at the specified position so it's kind of hard to get damaged but there are a couple of bugs right now that uh, I will have fixed by the next video uh, hopefully so yeah this is uh, pretty much it for this video and I will see you in the next video in which we will actually make a bit more of the game because this was pretty much bug fixing this video but uh, of course I couldn't show you bug fixing so yeah a short video this time so I will see you in the next one in which we will uh, actually make the game so I will see you in the next video and make sure to like and subscribe also check out my other channel uh, you can you know use that 
uh, button in the top right corner or you can use the link in the description uh, i make some great tutorials there and make sure to like and subscribe and bye